Hello everybody, Andrea Majeska here with Dental L Tutoring. So a lot of you have been asking me, um, or pretty much asking for advice and what to do. So if you've taken either the dental assisting exam or the dental hygiene board exam, and you've already been unsuccessful once, so you do have, you do have a few tries. Depending on where you live, you might have three tries or you might have four tries. Here we have three tries. We used to have four tries, but now they only allow us to have three. So if you were unsuccessful for once you might be wondering okay why was I unsuccessful I thought I knew everything I don't want to take the test again because what if I fail um, I thought I was smarter than this what the heck happened you know you might have had excellent marks in school so felt that you didn't have to study as much and then you failed the board exam yet other um, students from your class who maybe didn't do so well in school and passed it can be a very confusing thing um, I remember I still remember um, studying for for um, the board exam um, let me think here I studied for about three months three months but I also studied for it while I, I was still in school so I remember taking the board exam in September for the dental hygiene one um, and I studied for it for three months um, but I was graduating in November but I had a job lined up so as soon as I graduated, they pretty much said, when you can start, we need you. Because there was another hygienist going on maternity leave um, literally a week later. So it was perfect. And I had worked at that office since I was a dental assistant. So they knew me and they felt comfortable and they wanted me to work for them. So no pressure. Um, I took the board exam in September so that I, I could pass. I, or, um, you know, so I could hopefully pass and be able to start working as soon as I graduated because the next round of um, exams was the month afterwards and I didn't want to have to wait two months um, to start working. I wouldn't have minded that, but this office said, well, we need you now, so either take it or leave it, you know? Um, so again, no pressure, but so I did study for three whole months before. Now, you might be wondering, oh my God, I can't study for three whole months before, what the heck? So I do understand that some people just simply can't do that, but for some people, you really should. But that's why um, the Board Exam Prep Academy is wonderful because I have designed a whole course around showing you what to study and when to study. Because even if you haven't taken the board exam yet, or if you've taken it once and you've been unsuccessful, maybe you've taken it twice and been unsuccessful. Everybody has the same question. And that is, I don't know where to start to study. What do I start to study? Because you don't want to study too much and then um, waste all of your time and then not have to apply that to the test. But the worser case is you don't want to have to study not enough and then you're taking the, the exam and then you're like, oh my God, I don't know anything. So there's a fine line. You don't want to study too much, but you don't want to not study enough either. So the Board Exam Prep Academy is perfect because I tell you guys what to study per week. So every single Sunday we do hop on live for a full case studies lecture. So you hear me talking and we go through case studies for one full hour. That's all it is, is case studies. And there's a new topic every single week. So you can study if you want for that topic that week and then the next week study for something else or study three topics in one week because some are easier than others as we know. Like um, as an example, if you're studying staining, that won't take you a full week to study. It might take you four hours, but it won't take you a week, right? So you could do staining, you could do pharmacology in one whole week. But that um, lecture or um, the case studies lecture that I have on Sunday might be stained. So it's perfect. So that's just kind of how you can manage your time. Plus, I am now also doing um, a question and, and um, answer session every week also. So it's either on a Monday or a Wednesday, um, depending what students want. And they just simply ask me questions. So if they were studying during the week, um, anything so say they were studying um properties of enamel and they had a question they can ask me so write down your questions they can ask me and then i just answer them so students love that because even if they didn't think of a question when they see another student asking they go oh okay well do i know that question okay no i don't so i'm kind of glad that um andrea is asking or um, telling us what the answer is, I'm gonna make a note of that for next time. So we do talk about past board exam type questions. So you're always 
thinking. But that's not all. There is a private um, Facebook group also for all members of um, the Board Exam Prep Academy so that you guys can ask each other questions anytime. You can network with, with somebody else who might be living in the same city. You never know. Who knows, right? And then you could always meet, say hi, um, study on your downtime, study online, whatever. But we all talk to each other all the time. And I am here for you 24 seven. So if you guys have questions, just ask me because this is what I do. Um, I work in an office twice a week. That's it. So I have time to just answer anything and I have the time to help because that's what I do. Um, so yeah, students love it. Um, and there's modules inside the membership login area also on every single topic. So if one day you're thinking, well, you know what, I've watched a lot of the lecture videos. I think maybe I'll just read about um, oral pathology. You know, that is okay too. So there's many different ways you can study because we all learn a little bit differently differently. And the nice thing too is that inside um, the membership login area, the lecture um, videos have been recorded since 2016. So every single week there's a new one, 2016, 2017, and then so far for, for um, 2018. I do not leave them up um, any older than that because I don't want you guys learning something from 2015 because something has probably changed, right? So the 2016 um, videos are all there. Um, the 2017 videos, and of course the 2018 as well. And nobody else can see them because they are for members only. So even if you've been watching all of them here on YouTube, there's so much more inside the membership login area that only members have access to. So if you want to leave, um, or sorry, if you want to become a member to have access to everything. So there's mock exams, there's modules um, to read, there's lecture videos to watch, we have tutoring every single Sunday, and if you can't attend live, that's okay, because I do um, record everything. And we have a question and answer session Mondays or Wednesdays every single week. And there's a private um, Facebook group also to ask questions with more mock exams and more case studies. So you can always learn something every single week and I tell you guys exactly what to study. So if you want to sign up, now is the time. It's never too early. It's never too late. Um, if you can, I tell students to sign up at least six months before they take their exam. So you can take your time with it. Um, three months is okay too. You know, two weeks is even okay. It's totally up to you guys and how much you can study at a time. If you work full time, you might not be able to study every single day. So if you sign up six months in advance, you are able to get through all of the material at some time. And you might as well, because you have full access to everything inside until you pass the exam or up to two years, okay? So if it takes you two years to take the exam, that's okay. You have full access to everything inside the membership login area. Um, and that's pretty awesome, right? You have full access until you pass. So if for some reason you are still unsuccessful after tutoring with me, you still have full access to everything to study again. But I do hold a 99.4% success rate. So you passing is pretty good if you listen to me and attend all of the tutoring sessions or at least watch um, the videos afterwards. That's very, very important for you to pass, but I can help you guys, I can help. So if you guys have questions, please let me know, ask me anything. I will leave the link at the bottom of the video here. So have a look to become a member because you can sign up anytime. And as soon as you sign up, you get full access to everything. So you will be sent an, an um, email right away with your um, login link, your personal password, and then you just have to click there, log in, and it's right there, okay, all of it. So I hope to see you inside and I look forward to teaching you very, very soon.